Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I think it's my internet. It's sporadic. It's been doing this for a while. But I'm here. I say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning everybody. Welcome. And may God bless you. I say it's going to bless me in my household this morning. And I'm in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you. Omnipotent, omnipresent, you are God. Infinite God. Uncontestable God. Unmeasurable God. We lift our life to you this morning and we say thank you for all you are doing and where you're going to start again in our lives. And you know the end from the beginning. Perfect our life for your glory. Let the world know that we serve a living God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' awesome name we pray. Amen. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us open with a mini song. And it says, My hope is built on nothing else. I don't know what is your hope built on. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ, God and righteousness. No rich or my own I claim, but holy live on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand All of the ground is sinking sand All of the ground is sinking sand Let us sing it in a verse in another language Amen, Amen, Amen It back for me to glory Eje ato dodo jesu unko je te ke lo le ni oru u kon la jesu moduro le moduro le moduro le krista pata krista pata ile miro ile miro iyori iyori lo je moduro le Krista Pata Ile Miro Yeyone Somebody praise the Lord Praise the Lord Praise ye the Lord Hallelujah Our faith is built on nothing else Except on Jesus Christ and His righteousness And this is our motto this morning In the name of Jesus Let me post for you the Bible verse for today and we're going to go into admiration. We're going to adore God. We're going to administer this for the Savior. To the Savior to bless our soul, body, and spirit. I don't like taking your time, you know that. But come with me quickly. Today we're looking at... Are you there? What is your plan? for the Lord. What plan you have for the Lord? Every time we ask, oh, Father, I want you to give me this. Father, I want this. Father, I want that. Oh, this time next year, I want to buy a, a new house. Oh, this time next year, I want to marry. On and on and on. But God is faithful. Therefore, what have you got to bring to the Lord? Let's go. Come with me into... um. 167. This thing is messing up. Come with me to First King 5 4. First King 5 4. If God will give you the opportunity, 
what will you do for the Lord? If God in every area will bless you, what will you do for the Lord? What will you do for the Lord? I need to correct something quickly. Give me a minute. If God will bless you on every area, what is your plan? First King. Okay, I can do it later. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Let me correct this. It's been going on and on like that. I need to correct it today. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I corrected it when 167, not 166. I will edit it with five codes. Praise the Lord. First King 5 4. But now the Lord my God has given me rest. You hear me? Has given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary nor occurrence. That is, Solomon was the one speaking here. The Lord prevented any war. Nobody is invading his territory. Everything was working well. I placed you, I placed myself in that situation. You don't have nobody bothering you at work. You don't have anybody bothering you at home. You don't have nothing worrying you. Are you there? If that is the case, God gave you an opportunity to go use your time wisely because it's for you. It's testing you. He want to see how you're going to use your time wisely with him. After all, you'll be asking all this while. And it says, if you go in your spare time, you read more about this. And it says, oh, father, you have promised my father that I will be your house. That's how I'm going to use my spare time. Tell me how you're going to use your spare time from today. Is it Bible studies? Or you're going to keep working extra hours? What about what happened to those hours? You work, you work 80 hours a week. How many hours are in, in a week? Hmm? And you work 80. Everybody working 40 hours. Where did you put the money? God is giving you rest. Are you using it wisely? Where did you put the money? And what did you do with the money? It is well with you this morning. It is well with you. It's an opportunity for us to use our time wisely. Because God is God and God is not a man. He has given us opportunity. He has given me opportunity. What will you do with your spare time? Will you evangelize in his name? We thank God. I'll talk to you later. How are you going to use your time? Are you going to start a ministry in your church? Are you going to be an usher? Are you going to refrain from every activity? <laughs> that the Lord said he should not hear about his children committing them. As in Galatians 5.19. Are you going to ask for the Spirit of God for the manifestation of his grace and glory to rule and reign your life? What are you ready to do? My only Rahiba Mahali. My only Rahiba Amen. Go with me to Second Thessalonians 3.11. When we're, we're looking for what we, how we will use our spare time well for the Lord. Solomon built a house for the Lord. <laughs> Solomon he used his time wisely. Hello? Solomon used his time wisely. Mahali Rahiba Mahali Rahiba. Moya Hali Rahili Rahiba. Hallelujah. God is God and not a man. It says it doesn't do. 
If God is leading you, how are you going to use that spirit in you wisely? Ah, it's so warm in here. The air conditioner, nothing is working. The fan is what? Everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Te Second Thessalonians. And it says 311. For we hear about you. <laughs> that you are not using your time wisely. What are you doing with your time? Look at those people. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, disorderly, walking not at all, but are busy bodies. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I didn't mention nobody's name. It's talking to me. It's talking to you. How are you using your time wisely when the Lord is giving you rest in every corner of your life? Nobody is invading your privacy. You're just happy as you are. Nobody is giving you headache. Nobody is asking you to lift this up. Put that there. No. Take it away. Put it up there. Oh, go carry it from uh, up there and put it down. Nobody is bothering you. How are you using the peace of mind the Lord has given you wisely? Look at some. Apostle Paul. He said, we heard you. <laughs> that some of you are working disorderly. That is not upright. Not doing what they're supposed to be doing in the Lord. Preaching evangelism. Praying for people. <laughs> and not only that. Hear me right. <laughs> and that some of you are busy body. Hallelujah. Some of you are busy body. Some of you are busy body. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you are so busy doing nothing. Some of you are so busy doing your own thing. Some of you are so busy. Busy body. You talk nonchalantly. You talk what doesn't belong to you. You put your mouth where you're supposed not to put it. The power burning in you, you're not using it wisely. You are given the authority to, to deliver people in bondage. You are given the authority to use your sweat to anoint people for barrenness to disappear in their lives. Where did you put that authority? Huh? When they want to hear news, basically, they come to you, they sit down and you, they want you to run your mouth. Hey! Use, let us use our time wisely from today in the Lord. And everything else, He will be granted us. He will grant it for us. And finally, come with me to the book of Isaiah 26, 12, 2. Lord, thou will ordain peace for us. And from today, oh, he will do it as he did for Solomon, and he was able to use his time wisely to build a house for the Lord. We will be able to work for you, Father. Ordain for us peace. For thou also hast wrought all our works in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, do it again. I say, do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus. I say, sit dead upon your throne. Amen. Sisters, brothers, time for prayers. It doesn't matter how I stay long here. How long I stay is not a point. What have you learned today? How are you planning to use your time wisely, wisely with the Lord? Ah, what is your plan? To use your time wisely with the Lord. We may not even know that what we're doing is not right. Time for prayers. Begin to pray. 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 My darling Rahiba Mahal. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My hallelujah. Father, give me the opportunity to use my time wisely. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> begin to pray. Let's start. Lord, tell it to God. Lord, you give Solomon peace in every corner. 
Nobody was invading him. No adversary. No power. No, 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 no planned work of evil against Solomon. Solomon was there working for you, Father. Build your house. I should desire prayer, prayers in my household. Let us work for you. Or then for us, what we should be doing. Do not pray us. So. Or then for us, what we should be doing for you, Father. And we are ready to direct our part. In 2 Thessalonians 3.11 For we hear, hey, some are not using their time wisely. Oh Lord, pray. I don't want to be busy, buddy. I don't want to be disorderly in my conduct. I want to be a living sacrifice. What does that mean to you? A living sacrifice acceptable to God is change of behavior. Not disorderliness, not mingling with the world as a child of God. Don't serve God out with your lips. Let it come from your heart. Your, your heart is a living sacrifice. What you do with your heart, serving your Lord unconditionally, not mingling with the world, is called a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Good behavior, good rapport with others. No bad biting, no busy bodies. Oh Lord, thank you oh, because you are God. Leave me in my home. Let all my brothers and sisters world world. Let our life be live unto you. Be God in thee in Jesus' name. And finally, you will ordain that peace for us like you did for Solomon. Again, we we'll remind you, Father, for thou hast wrought, we wrought all works in us because you, you've given us that opportunity for a change of mind to become a true living sacrifice for your work hallelujah hallelujah help us father be with us in every corner thank you father thank you holy spirit in jesus name we pray jesus name we pray jesus mighty name we have prayed amen 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 father lord we thank you again I want my brothers and sisters worldwide join me next Sunday. Just 15 minutes, maximum 20 minutes. Join me next Sunday. Same time. Come and be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 11 a.m. in East Coast, 10 a.m. Central. Join me in Mountain Area 9, Pacific Time Zone, California, West Coast, 8 a.m. The Lord is good all the time. Coming from Nigeria, West Africa. You join me at 5 p.m. East Africa. Join me 7. Asia, join me at 11 p.m. your time. You coming from London, join me at 5 p.m. Are you coming from Italy? Join me at 6 p.m. And on and on. Come and be blessed. Join me on YouTube. Find me anywhere else you can find me. But God is good. Always remember, work for the Lord. Don't be busy, buddy. Don't be disorderly in your conduct. Be a child of God, a living sacrifice, a change of attitude. Something that the Lord will see and be happy and say, this is real, my daughter. This is my real son in Jesus' name, in whom I'm well placed. Shalom. Bye for now.